Hi friends, welcome to our dinner table. Uh, Carlos is on my left. We are having dinner today. We're having pho. And yeah. then, here you go. Thank you. We have our spring rolls. Carlos is having chicken pho, and I'm having, um, I put meatballs, is it good, babe? Mm -hmm. I put meatballs and um, rare steak in mine. Just a last minute dinner. It has been so cold and like storming outside. We had a storm the last two days. It finally stopped raining today. And I think it's raining a little bit tomorrow. I'm adding hoisin sauce and sriracha into mine. Oh my god, it's so good. I think I need more hoisin sauce. Is the chicken good? Mm hmm I always love meatballs in my pho. And then I got um, rare steak this time. I feel like the broth is kind of different today. It's all right. Right? It doesn't taste the same. Mmm. Meatball's my favorite. Felt like you guys were kind of low before this. I put you higher. It's not bad. Yeah, the broth is different today though. I usually put Poison, so I should buy a count. I put a little poison for you. But not the sriracha. I know. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, it sucks because... Oh, I know. You're used to it. Cooper's digging. Cooper's digging? Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, when it's rain and cold outside, I'm like not in the mood to eat that much. Mm -mm. Right? Is anyone else the same? When it's um when it's super rainy and cold outside, I'm just I don't really have an appetite, but you gotta eat dinner. Yeah. I just I wanna mean, hmm. Yeah. I want a smoothie. Well also like if Kim has told you well, I mean I'm sure you guys know if you guys watch the vlogs and stuff. I've been having issues with my gallbladder, so that doesn't really help either with the Yeah. Appetite. And Where? I've noticed that I get re like I get full so fast. We are seeing the doctor tomorrow. Carlos is getting um, his gallbladder removed, so that's what we've been dealing with. Yeah, hopefully um, they can get me into the procedure. Yeah, he had a gallbladder attack over the weekend, and we um, had to rush to the emergency room, and we were there for like six hours. Um, and he hasn't had an attack since, but we've just kind of been living life on the edge. So, we just want to get the skull bladder removed. We see the doctor tomorrow. Um, hopefully all is good. Yeah. But, at least we know, at least it's it's pretty common, so there's a bunch of information on it and stuff, so it's like. Which, um, I thought it was interesting. I learned that gallbladder um, issues are hereditary. hereditary. Mm-hmm. Carlos's mom had her gallbladder removed like 10 years ago mm -hmm. and his aunt got hers removed and his niece got hers removed a month ago. Yeah. So it possibly could run in the family. Oh no, for sure it does. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I didn't know that it literally can affect you at any age. Oh, yeah. So. What? You want a smoothie? Honestly. I kind of want a smoothie. Yeah. It does suck because there are, like, after every meal, I do feel a little nauseous. It's not extreme. It's... It's like when you smell something that you yeah, don't like. Yeah, exactly. Like, just, just a tiny like bit you nauseous. Feel queasy. Yeah. I guess queasy is the best feeling. Like, you just feel like that's light, you know? And that's Which kinda... is a symptom of gallstones. He has gallstones right now, so we need to get this gallbladder removed. And that's kind of how I feel, which sucks because... But you've been so good, babe. Yeah. I mean, I've been eating good. That's the thing. It's like, it doesn't matter what I eat. It can be super clean. I'm I like, I'll still get nauseous, so... Yeah, Carlos has changed his... Uh, ever since... I would say like October, he's changed his diet, he's changed his eating habits. I think you relapse a little bit towards the end because it was the holidays, like it's okay. Uh, towards the holidays, he had a little fun. Oh, but that was before. I got, know. That was before like the big. I know, but that weekend run. we went to mom's, I think yeah, you went a little crazy bad. too. So Yeah, we had we went camping and stuff and yeah, it it's was, okay. it wasn't good, but. Now Since we know, then. now we know for sure and we know exactly what to look out for. Yeah, but since then, over the last like month, month and a, yeah, like month, month and a half, mm -hmm. I've been eating really clean, so, um, yeah, I just, like I said, just want to get it over with and it's not because I want to eat whatever I want, it's just, I want to eat. The pain. Yeah, not just the pain, but I want to be able to eat something and, and know that, okay, I'm not gonna, it's not gonna happen, I'm good, like, I'll be comfortable. Like, know. the worst that will happen is you're gonna use the bathroom. Yeah, like, You don't, you're not gonna go through that pain. Yeah. Like, I know Kim and I are both stressed, like, when we go, when we finish it, eating dinner, and we go to bed, we're just like, oh, okay, let's hope that it doesn't happen in the middle of the night again or something. Yeah, we've been cutting off dinner at 7 o'clock. So I think, that, I don't even know how, what time it is. I it's think it's like almost seven, seven right seven, now. Yeah. So um, we have our dinner before seven now. We cut it off at seven. Which um, you should be technically doing anyways. Yes, yeah, so I guess in a way we're doing intermittent fasting. And then we don't eat again until the next day. So we're doing like, I think like 12 to seven these days. Yeah. Um, and the meals are very clean, no greasy. Uh, no greasy food for Carlos, no fatty food for Carlos, no spicy food for Carlos. Mm -hmm. um, aside from like my more like once in a while mukbangs, um, like I did the spicy noodle mukbang recently, like that's like once in a while. Like other than that, we've been making really clean meals. Like the salad last night was really, really good. Yeah. <laughs> last night we did um, a air fry chicken salad and it was so so good you guys yeah it was really good and tonight we're having fun yeah but uh i <laughs> i am getting tired of chicken so it's getting to that point where i know it's because carlos can't eat um uh meat that is high in fat so we've been doing super lean turkey like we're talking like I think the turkey I bought yesterday was like 99% lean yeah. and 1% fat. He cannot eat pork because that's high in fat, which sucks because he loves pork belly. Um, so he's just been eating chicken, turkey. Uh, other options that are good are fish and seafood, but he but doesn't. I don't like fish. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't like fish and he doesn't like seafood. Yeah. If he did, then I would make him like salmon bowls and like shrimp rolls and things like that. But no, I know. But... So he's he's kind of been eating a lot of boiled chicken and rice and. That's okay though. And different. Um, I've learned also that like different people get triggered with gallstones and have an attack with different things. Like a lot of people were like, oh, don't eat pineapple. But you had pineapple the other day and you were fine. Mm -hmm. And then some people were like, oh, I like cannot drink apple juice. But like you can't, you know what I'm saying? I think for me, it's definitely fatty. Fatty? Like anything fatty and fried. spicy. Yeah, fried and anything spicy. Yeah. Uh, spicy will definitely like, it's over. If I, uh, like if I had like a bowl of hot Cheetos right now, I would probably like, Get an oh, you're done. Tonight. Yeah, so. Yeah, I, I, I think everyone's trigger is different. Yes, everyone's trigger is different. Um, gallstones can come in like different sizes too. 
But uh, I'm so excited to see the doctor tomorrow because I just want. I am too, honestly. I'm just. I want to. I just want to schedule a date for you and get yeah. it out. I'm just gonna tell sort of like, listen, man, like. Please, doctor, uh, T, take it out. Yeah. Well, like I said, I'm just really happy that they did studies on everything else. So everything else is good. Yeah, they did. Your, your blood work was clear. Yeah, they did everything else as well. Uh, they said. I think she said my uh, like enzyme level on my liver is high, but she said that's because of the uh, gallbladder. Yeah, she said that was normal because he's having gallbladder issues. Um, but they aside, weren't that high though. Yeah, but aside from that, um, I'm just happy that everything else is good and it's just that. Like I would rather just deal with this <sighs> and it's solvable than something more serious. So Yeah, but, sucks. But until then, you know, can't really have her like little date nights where we go to like tacos and tequila at least not yet you know so gotta wait but i've been liking um i've been liking this change like i've been liking the clean meals and oh yeah no for sure i just it's just you feel better too i just every once in a while i do obviously Crave I think, <laughs> yeah but i think it's normal i know i'm sure everybody every even if you eat super healthy every once in a while you're like oh i want pizza or, yeah or like oh i want this and that's kind of how i want to be too you know yeah but this was a, sure. this was good. It wasn't great. They changed something in today's pho. I'm sad. Or maybe is it because mine is chicken and mine tastes a little different? No, mine tastes different too and I always get this one. You know what's funny is like, I think that um, your significant other or whoever you take care of, like, or live with, their energy like rubs off on you. Cause like ever since Carlos got sick, I just do not have an appetite. Like yeah, I, I just, so, I've never, I've always been the person. And I love tired. to eat. Oh yeah, you know I love to eat. And I it's love so eating, weird. babe. It's so weird that in the morning I just have like two pieces of toast and I'm like, I'm good for literally yeah. almost a whole well, day. Well, I also think you're like very anxious right now cause I'm anxious for you. Cause I don't know what triggers you. Like I don't know if you're gonna have an attack in like two hours from right now. So it just sucks. Like right now I'm full. I know. And I like barely ate. But... I know. So like living with Carlos and seeing him like this, I'm like, oh my god. I just, um, I want this to be over. I want surgery to like go well. Um, but I mean, honestly, like I'm just, I'm happy that it's super easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'll be in and out, and then I'll just rest for, like, a couple I'm just days. grateful you didn't have an inflamed gallbladder. That would have been bad. Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, my God. But, yeah, we... But, I mean, thank you for everybody for reaching out, because I've had a couple people reach out saying, like, hey, Aww, I've, that's had, sweet. I've had uh, gallbladder issues, too. It's very and, common, by the way. Yeah. So, I mean... Didn't know you it was guys, so common. If you guys do have those symptoms where, like, maybe you get nauseous after meals... Or like you guys are experiencing stuff like that. You if guys your should, skin turns yellow. Yeah, if you get jaundice and stuff, you guys should definitely go to the doctor and see um, if you guys do have gallstones and stuff, and maybe you guys can get it taken care of before it gets really bad. It start you start getting attacks because the it's not the pain isn't fun, and I'm sure you guys that yeah. have been through it know that it's not fun at all. Oh my gosh, yeah. So I'm just I don't know after. <laughs> <laughs> taking care of him for the last like um few like almost week now i just don't even have an but appetite. i feel bad and i told her i was like hey look if you guys can literally eat whatever you guys want don't no it's not even that like i know like you don't care if like because to, like, be, to be honest with you like if you like let's say with michelle like when she comes over if you guys got something that mm -hmm. obviously i can't eat i it doesn't i don't crave it no 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 i get that I get that like tomorrow when Michelle's here and like if she, like she wants Wingstop like, yeah, exactly. I we'll I get it but it's like I'm telling you I don't have an appetite anymore it's really weird I don't know if it's just right now because maybe it's just right now because like your energy is rubbing off on me and I'm also very anxious until we get a surgery date because I'm a very anxious anxious gal so until he gets a surgery scheduled I think I'm just gonna be like on edge well, first, and then also, second of all, we have Lunar New Year's this weekend. Yeah. So I'm trying to eat clean so I can uh, go a little ham at mom's house. Nice. You know? Yeah, I gotta bring my own food. <laughs> Mom offered to make you, like, no, broth, but I was like, no. No, it's okay. I'll bring my own just because... No, babe, we, we're in, we, we can order whatever we want. There's we, so many options for you. Oh, yeah. 
You were fine with the with the uh, fit bowls, remember? Those fit bowls were pretty good, yeah. Yeah, you were fine with those. So I think, yeah, I think what really triggered it is that freaking Trader Joe's Spanish rice. Yeah, that was that was not it. But like I said, thank you guys so much for reaching out. I really appreciate all your guys' uh, feedback on everything. And I know Kim has asked questions and you guys have answered, so. Yeah, it's been really helpful hearing yeah. that this is so common and we do not wish this pain on anyone although i've never gone through it but just seeing carlos like literally my husband was crying you guys like my six feet husband was on the couch I crying called my mom. i called my mom and i told her hey i'm going to emergencies and i started crying i was like mom like i'm i told her i was like this is the worst pain i've ever been in my life is it like um I tried to ask him because I, I was curious because I obviously have never felt it. Is it a a pointy? Is it like a stabbing pain? Um, is it like um a tight pain? Like what is it? It's I guess all of it. I don't know how to oh. I don't know how to describe it. And then you said it. this time your stomach was burning. Yeah, my stomach was burning this time. It was it was really bad. But oh shit! I if you guys have had attacks, let me know if you guys understand what I'm trying how I'm trying to explain it. But earlier today, I told Kim that it literally felt like if somebody came up to you and then went like this to your midsection and literally was just like digging their hand into like your midsection constantly. Like that's literally how it kind of felt. And your back hurts at the same time? My, well, the only reason my back hurt is because I can't, like I can't stand I'm up straight. I'm trying to see. <sighs> so like, let's say, like, let's say I went into your midsection, like where your ribs are and stuff. And I just like on this side yeah. or this side and I just like. Kept burying like my hand. I, I that's honestly the best way oh, I can shit. kind of describe it. When um when we shared this it, on our vlog channel, a lot of people. Well, first of all, this is very um common for uh, pregnant people as well. Yeah. If you are pregnant, you have a chance of getting gallstones. So that kind of scares the freaking shit out of me. But that's so scary because you're pregnant and then you have to deal on top uh, with that. If yes. You get it. And you can't get the surgery until the baby's out. Oh, no. So you have to live with it for nine months, but then you have to wait like I think a month or two after you deliver the deliver the baby to get the gallbladder out. Oh, that's. Sucks. And they can't really give you a lot of medication because you're pregnant. Right. Yeah. Oh. So, so there are definitely a lot of things that we've learned about gallstones and gallbladder issues. Um, it is very high in um, the Mexican culture and for Native Americans. Um. It runs uh, in the family. What else have we learned? We've learned a lot. Well, what we've learned also from a lot of research and also from you guys is the pain is worse than contractions, you guys. Like I've had so many moms message me or leave comments and say, Kim, even, even your niece, babe, when really? I was talking to her yesterday, Kate, yeah. she said that she's had four C-sections and she would happily do the C-sections. Oh, shoot. Then go through gallstone attacks again. That and then I was insane. reading the comments under our vlog today and um, some of the moms were like, oh yeah, I would happily like deliver a baby without an epidural. Then go through that pain. And I'm like, oh my God. Wait, I, that's insane. I can't imagine. So... Well, I, like I, I said, I'm I like, ugh. I wasn't faking it. I was not, definitely not faking it. I'm the type of person that would never, like, I hate attention. So when Kim got home and I was in the garage and I was like, look, we got to go. Like, I need to go now. So the reason, um, oh, we didn't tell you guys, but um, you can watch it on my vlog channel. But I called um, 911 and asked for an ambulance to be sent over because... I wasn't sure if he was inflamed or had a blockage. Sometimes the stones can get um, stuck in your uh, duct and it could block um, the whole, I think, gallbladder. But I wasn't sure, so he had, I've never seen him in this much pain. I've seen him at other attacks and the other attacks weren't as bad. This one was like a nine out of 10 pain. So since I was so scared and I wasn't sure if he was going to like pass out when I was like driving him to the hospital or something, I think we live like 18 minutes away from the hospital. So I called the ambulance, they came and 
they checked his vitals and everything and they said that he was good to go and they said either they can drive him or I can drive him. So I was like, I'll save the $300 and drive him. Yeah. Because that is going to be the most expensive ride to the hospital ever. Yeah. But... They were really nice about it though. They said, yeah. you know, don't worry about it. Like, it's not like you guys just call just for shits and giggles. Yeah. Well, that was the reason why I called them because I wasn't sure if you had a block or it was inflamed. But it turns out that it wasn't inflamed and he didn't have a block. He just had gallstones. Yeah. And so. they were just acting up. So we need to get it removed. Yeah. But, you know, there could be worse things. And I know there are worse things. So, like I said, I'm honestly thankful that it's this issue and not something else that's more serious. So, yeah. at least this issue, we can get it resolved and it's not the end of the world. But Well, we'll keep you guys updated. Yeah. On the I mean, if, I'm, if I come out in a mug bung and you guys see me eating something that I'm not supposed to, then I, you guys probably know that I'm feeling better. But so. that won't be for like a few months, you yeah, guys. Yeah, it's going to be a while. He has to eat very, very uh, light food at first after because he's missing an organ now. But I think by that time, like, I'm just going to be so used to eating normally like this. Hell yeah. Then Let's I'm just, keep it up. Then I'm just going to be like, okay, every once in a while is nice. But even then, I feel like. I'm just gonna be so used to eating clean that it's just gonna it's just a habit at that point, you know? Yeah, this was definitely a very uh good learning experience, I think, for everyone. Yeah, so, so anyways, wish Carlos good luck on his surgery. If you guys have any symptoms, you guys should definitely go get it checked out before you guys have an attack. Uh yeah. So yeah, because you know. Also, if you end up at the emergency room um and you feel like they should run more tests. Really advocate for yourself, you guys, because our experiences at the emergency room, I mean, they were really nice, but um, I feel like a lot of the times you really do need to advocate for yourself. Um, and if you're feeling pain and you're feeling like something's not right, definitely speak up about it. But we'll keep you guys updated on everything. Um, I definitely will see you guys again before Lunar New Year. So yeah. I will uh, give you guys all of your Lunar New Year healthy wishes then. Hi. But we are going to feed the dogs their dinner now and get ready to call it a night. Say bye. Oh, bye. <laughs> bye, you guys.